Let's review a few key ideas in basic probability, which is such a vital application of integrals. It is useful all over the place. Anytime you've got any sort of process in science, in engineering, in anything where there's randomness, where there's uncertainty, where it's not completely deterministic, then you are in the realm of probability. And what makes Probability is such a wonderful subject is that even though there's randomness involved, we can nevertheless do mathematics. We can make deductions about what tends to happen. And all of this is fueled by a few basic definitions that we're now going to go over. We're going to consider a random variable x on the reals. This is characterized by a probability density function. I'm going to use the same letter rho that we use for mass density to describe probability density. Such a rho, such a function, has to be non-negative. That kind of makes sense. And, and the important part is when you integrate rho over the entire reals, you get a value of 1. That's really important. Why? Well, let's think a little bit. To compute the probability, P, capital P, that your random variable x lies in some subset A of the reals, what you do is you integrate the probability element dP over A. This probability element dP is rho of x dx. And so the probability that x lies in A, we use this uh, element of symbol for that. The probability that x lies in A is the integral of dP over A. That is the integral of rho of x dx over A. Now, why does this make sense? Well, if your probability density is really high, there's a lot of, shall we say, probability mass there when you integrate over it, and the chances of landing in A are pretty good. If the density is really low, on A, then your chances of landing in that zone are, are pretty small. But likewise, if you change A, it can change the probability. If A is a single point, what's the probability of landing exactly at that point? Zero, because the integral of any function over a point is zero. Also, if we take A to be the entire real line, what's the probability of landing on the real line? One. Of course, that's the true reason for having the integral of rho of x dx equal to 1. It says the total probability is 1. Now, if we take a random variable, sample it over and over and over, and see what tends to happen, this leads to certain quantities that characterize the statistics of a random variable, things you've maybe seen before, things like mean or standard deviation. Consider a random variable with probability density rho. The mean, or the expectation as it's called, e of x, is an average value. It is the integral over the entire reals of x dp. That is the integral of x times rho of x dx. This mean tells you where you're likely to be if you sample this random variable over and over and over and take an average value. Now, this may or may not occur where the probability density is highest. Variance is a measure of how spread out the probability density is about the mean. This quantity, v of x, is the integral over the reals of quantity x minus e squared dp. That is, you're taking the distance to the mean, you square that, and then you integrate that with respect to probability density. Now, this variance is a little harder to visualize. What often is used is the standard deviation, a dimensionless sort of variance. It is, by definition, the square root of the variance. And this standard deviation is, again, a numerical quantity that just measures how spread out your random variable is about its expectation. A small variance or small standard deviation means you're really tight about the mean. A large variance, a large standard deviation means you're really spread out. These quantities, expectation, variance, standard deviation, super important. We're going to see them a lot.